Hi, welcome to Pharma Medical Science uh, College. This is the pharmacy assistant program. And here we teach pharmacists uh, assistants how to receive prescriptions from uh, doctors, read the prescriptions, interpret, put in a computer, generate label, and pick the right medication. And once that is done, we count the medications and then let the pharmacist check. And then uh, we give it to the pharmacist to uh, give to the patient. Now, this program is uh, six months length, and during this program, you will learn about basic pharmacology, medical terminology, computer software, and also how to relate to customers, because pharmacy is a business and a profession as well. Okay? All right, so once you receive the prescription, you make sure you are able to interpret, and then you can enter the prescriptions into the computer, like I have said, once that is done, we make sure that you are detail-oriented because if you make a mistake, it can mean a lot to the patient and to the government, as usual. Okay, as you know, I am a registered pharmacist with the Ontario College of Pharmacists, and the graduation rate from this program is very high. About 99% of our students find uh, employment in the community drugstore, like this. So in a community drugstore, we have generic drugs, and also brand name drugs. The difference between generic and brand is that the generic drugs are cheaper. And it's, so insurance companies want their patients to receive cheaper drugs because it costs less money. So most of the time, even if the doctor writes medication for the brand name, you have to give the generic so that the insurance companies uh, will pay for them. So this is a model pharmacy we have all the uh, tablets here, the regular medications. On top, we have the control drugs, which are called narcotics. And here, there's a liquid uh, section. So this is basically um, your pharmacy. And these are arranged alphabetically, OK? You understand? In A, B, C, D to Z. That way, it is easy for you to find the medication. Once you have entered it into a computer, and then you've got a label, you bring it and you pick the right drug and you make sure that it is right because you check what we call the DIN. Every drug has its special DIN, which is drug identification number. That way we make sure that we don't make mistakes because if this does not match with your label, then there is a problem. This way we are sure that we give the right medication, the right dose, the right quantity, the right strength to your patients. Thank you very much.